Welcome to the Family Forum Series for the 24-25 school year. My name is Dr. James Nold and I serve as the Assistant Superintendent of the Sioux Falls School District. For the past three years, we have worked with Avera to create the Family Forum Series to bring you, our families, parents, and community members information to help strengthen families. This year, we will continue that great partnership. On the third Tuesday of each month at 6 p.m., we will post a new Family Forum program. This year, we will have three that are specifically district focused and five that are in partnership with Avera and their staff. The first Family Forum presentation is titled Keeping Parents in the Know and is focused on teaching parents how to access their students' information on Canvas and Infinite Campus. Canvas is the district's learning management system, which means it houses information from your child's teachers specific to course assignments, messages, and academic due dates. That presentation can be found in three parts. These are short videos you can watch. Infinite Campus is the other platform we're focusing on. It houses students' grades, lunch account balances, attendance information, behavior referrals, and so much more. We have provided all the videos and one video for you tonight, but we'll post them separately on the website so that you can select the one that fits your needs. Again, a big thank you to Avera for partnering on this with us and a thank you to you, our parents, for being part of the Sioux Falls School District. We hope these videos help you to support your children. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Christy Carlson, Digital Education Specialist for the Sioux Falls School District. Today, I'm going to talk to you about Canvas and how to generate a pairing code to allow you to connect with your student's Canvas account. Parents can sign up for a Canvas account and linked to their student's account, allowing them to see assignment due dates, announcements, and other course content. Before we can link to our student in Canvas, we'll need a pairing code. Elementary students will have a pairing code generated for them. Be on the lookout for a communication from your child's school or classroom teacher with this information. If you already have a pairing code for your student, you can skip ahead to the next segment of this video. Students in grades 6 through 12 can generate a pairing code in Canvas by signing into Canvas on their Chromebook or district device. In Global Navigation, click on the Account button, then select the Settings link. Click the Pair with Observer button on the right-hand side of your screen. Copy or record the six-digit alphanumeric pairing code. You must generate a separate code for each parent or guardian. The pairing code is case-sensitive and will expire after seven days or its first use. If you need assistance with generating a pairing code for your student, please call this number. Hi, I'm Christy Carlson, Digital Education Specialist for the Sioux Falls School District. Parents and guardians can create a Canvas account using either a computer or an app on your mobile device. First, we'll look at creating a Canvas account using a computer. If you are using your mobile device, please skip ahead to the mobile device section of this video. There are several ways that you can get to the Canvas login page. I'll share a link to the URL in the description of this video. You can also go to the Sioux Falls School District website and in the top right corner, there will always be a Canvas button and if you click it, You'll, you'll, it'll take you to the Canvas login screen. As a parent or guardian, you'll use the blue Family Login button. Click Parent of a Canvas User. Enter the following information. Enter your name, email, password, re-enter your password, and enter the student pairing code you've generated during our first segment or 
a pairing code that you received from your child's school office or teacher. After you've entered the information, click Start Participating. You can begin observing your student in Canvas immediately. If you would like to pair with additional students in Canvas, in Global Navigation, click the Account link. Then click the Settings link. Click on Observing. Type the pairing code in the student pairing code field and click the add student button. Hi, I'm Christy Carlson, digital education specialist for the Sioux Falls School District. Parents and guardians can create a Canvas account using either a computer or a mobile device. During this segment, we're going to discuss how parents can use their cell phone and use the Canvas mobile app. If you are using a mobile phone or tablet, you will first need to download and install the Canvas Parent app. Be sure to look for the blue Canvas Parent app icon to ensure you are installing the Parent app and not the student or teacher app. Tap on the blue Canvas Parent icon. To find your institution, tap the Find School button, enter the name of the Sioux Falls School District, choose the option that is listed on the top for Parents and Guardians. Click on the Create Account. Enter your name, email, password, re-enter your password, and the six-digit alphanumeric pairing code for your student that you want to link in the student pairing code field. Then click Start Participating. You can begin observing your student in Canvas immediately. If you would like to pair with additional students in Canvas, click on the down arrow next to your first student's name. Then you'll see the option to click on the plus add student button. You'll see an option to either join with a QR code or a pairing code. Select pairing code. Now you will be able to enter the pairing code generated by your student or that was sent to you from your student's teacher or school. Then click add. You may add additional students if needed. To launch the Canvas Parent app, click on the blue Canvas Parent app icon. You can select and toggle between different students by using the down arrow at the top of the screen. Select the student you'd like to monitor, and you'll see a list of current courses that that student is enrolled in. To view more details, about activities, assignments, feedback, and grades for that student's course, click on the course in Canvas. Here you'll see information about assignments, due dates. If you click on an individual assignment, you can see information about the assignment due date, whether it has been submitted, and any information that you might need to know to support your student in completing the assignment. If you need assistance generating a pairing code or creating a Canvas account and linking with your student, please call the number listed here. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful school year.
Hi, my name is Chris Martin. Welcome to the Sioux Falls School District. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to get into Parent Portal from our district website. So to use Infinite Campus, we're going to go to https colon slash slash www.sf.k12.sd.us. One of the quick links that you can get to from the district website is right here at the uh, lower portion of the screen. We're going to click on Infinite Campus and we're going to click on Campus Parent. Go ahead and enter your username. And then log in. All right, upon entering into the home page here, uh, if you don't see the menu on the side, keep in mind there's a small little tab right here. If you click on this, it will expand out and show you all of the different areas that you can select. All of these sections are just more detailed versions of what you're seeing on the home page. Moving from left to right, here I can see the student profile, and in here I can see uh, the student information, where his enrollments were, and then what the student number is. On the right hand side, I can see announcements, and I can see the uh, district announcements, useful links, which is very helpful. And then also on the very far right, you can see uh, any items that are in the cart, and then you can check your uh, accounts from here to see what fees may be uh, applicable. Moving down from the announcements, you can see the inbox from the student's uh, teacher. If I click on this and expand it out, uh, a message will pop up and show what's going on with that class. There is a link to view more inbox messages in the message center, and that's something that uh, we can explore more moving on further. Scrolling down the page, I can see today's schedule. And if I click on show more, it gives me the whole day at a glance. As I scroll down, I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom of this page and I can see that there's a document section and an assignment section and then recent updates. Now in the document section, if there's something that the teacher or the district has posted in here, it would be retrievable by you, the parent, uh, in this section. The assignments has a missing tab do today and do tomorrow tab. And then the recent updates shows me my assignment scores, my students assignment scores, grades, attendance, and their behavior. Moving over to the right hand side of the screen, we can see in the shortcuts that we have an absence request, annual student information update, and then a contact list. To view more, let's click on the menu up at the top. As I click on calendar, here I can see assignments, schedule, and attendance. Clicking on attendance, and if I go into, let's say, the fourth, there's no attendance events for today. If I click on the schedule, here I can see, once again, an expanded view of what we saw on the home page. If there's any assignments that have been passed out through Infinite Campus, you'll see them in this section as well. Or you might want to check your student's Canvas uh, uh, portal. Going back into menu, we're going to go into the assignment section for a more detailed uh, list. And once again, please make sure that you're checking your student's Canvas page and uh, checking to see if there's any assignments in there as well. Under menu, I'm going to go back into grades. And in here, there's no grades posted as it's beginning of the school year. And we're not going to see anything in here yet, but you would see any uh, assignments or grades that have been posted or carried over from the Canvas side. Moving on, we're gonna go into attendance. And here I can see that the student has two absences and you'll see any tardies as well. If you wanna see previous enrollments, click on this section and you can see what the previous year's attendance was. Going back into the menu, if I click on schedule, once again, uh, another detailed view of the schedule, which we've seen already, so I'm gonna move on. Here's a more detailed list of fees. And if I wanna filter by person, if I have more than one student, I would click on this particular section, and then I'm gonna see uh, if I have more than one student, which, uh, which student specifically. You can also see by school year, and then by type. If I have any uh, particular, let's go to all, and then apply. 
Here if I can see that uh, there's uh, maybe a fee assessed with uh, taking a, a AP test, they're gonna be able to see that in this section. Moving on, we're gonna skip documents and we're gonna go into the message center. In the message center, we're gonna see some useful links right away. And in the inbox, we're gonna see different messages from your child's teacher. And when you click on them, they'll open up in a separate window. Keep in mind that uh, this is one-way communication from the teacher to you. There is no responding back to these. If you do have a question, make sure that you email the teacher directly or use the district's messaging service. We're gonna go back home. And in here, we're going to click on the notification bell up in the upper right-hand corner. And here you can see some, uh, some different notifications. And then over on the far right-hand portion of this, you can see that there is a settings. You can select the type of language that you'd uh, like this in, and, or you can give feedback. By going to settings, you can set up notification settings, which is very, very helpful. And you can get notifications in your email inbox uh, according to uh, what assignments are happening, if grades are updated, attendance is updated, uh, or documents that require any signatures. Going back, we have account settings. You can change your password. And if you have an email change, you can change that here as well. Current devices uh, using the mobile app. Here we have one that uh, uses a certain uh, mobile device. And this was uh, recently used. Uh, it shows you the last time that you logged in with your mobile device. And then access log shows you how often you've uh, accessed your, your child's portal. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any other further questions, please reach out to your child's teacher or the building office in which they attend. Please have a great rest of the school year and take care.